Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you Regency RV's National Traveler DLX Trek. It sits on the Dodge ProMaster chassis. And before I get started, I wanted to tell you how impressed I was with Regency's attention to detail and quality that they pack into these Class Bs. So impressed that I went and did, for the first time ever, a factory walk around tour to see how they make these and how they build that quality into each coach. So I encourage you to go watch that video on the Regency RV factory tour. And so you can see for yourself how they build these amazing coaches and the quality they put into them. Let me show you a little bit of what's under the hood here. So here we have our fuse panel for the chassis. And if you ever need to jump your coach, there's a little pocket door here and it tells you on this little yellow label as well that you can jump the coach from right there. This is your brake fluid, your coolant, then we have our oil dipstick and our oil fill. We have our windshield wiper fill here, and this is our power steering fluid. The National Traveler is meant to be towed from the front, and behind this panel is where you'd add the adapter if you were going to be towed. We have the internally controlled mirrors, and we also have a button at the dash so that we can bring that mirror all the way in. If we're in a tight parking space, we can bring it out and then bring it right in, nestle it in next to the window here. Notice the beautiful paint job and the integrated running boards that flow with the contour of the coach. Really gives it a nice look. And then we've got the painted wheels here, exhaust for our furnace, and our 110 outlet. All right, I want to show you what's really cool inside this store here. So here's our little entertainment center. First of all, right to the, this panel right here on the side is going to be your power. So I'm going to hit that on, and then I'm going to go ahead and extend my awnings. Just push and hold that button. They didn't skip on the awning. It's nice and, and big, so you get a lot of shade. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my awning lights. Turn those on. Now I'm going to set up my table for dinner or for snacks. Just pull that down, pull up my chairs. Now I want to watch TV. So we don't have one here, but the cool thing is you can just take the TV from your bedroom, slide it into this bracket right here, hook it up right there, plug it in, you're ready to go. So ta-da, here's the TV. It's super nice because it's on a, an arm where it will swivel and tilt. So if there's any kind of glare, you can get away from that. And then I want to tell you one of the coolest things is that from your cell phone, you've got this great speaker out here. So if you want to play music, you've got the awning out, you're ready to tailgate and have a good time, you can Bluetooth your music from your phone to that speaker. So all you have to do is come over here, hit your porch light, because that's actually the power to that speaker as well. Turn the porch light on, then you're going to go to your settings and hit your Bluetooth on. It's going to pair with RV media. So now I'm connected. Now I can go to my music and hit play. Pretty cool, huh? And shameless plug here if you want to hear more of this music, it's my daughter in law, Aubrey Toon. Here in the back we have our hitch. The Dodge ProMaster chassis will let you tow 3,500 pounds. So you've got that right there and then you've got the connection for your lights and your airline for your tow vehicle. And as we open up the back door, you can see we can see the beautiful, you get a little sneak peek of the inside of the coach. But what I wanted to show you is they've got a nice little spot here for your inside table. So all you have to do is just unsnap the leg, Take out this little center part here. And then you can put your table on top. 
and ready for dinner. Here's the plug in for our 30 amp shore power cord. This is our on demand hot water. Then we've got our sewer connection outlet right here. And then behind this little locked door, which I've already unlocked for us, we have the black tank valve and the gray tank valve. So these are our electronic valves when we need to dump our tanks. And then we also have the cable inlet. So if you've got a little mobile satellite that you want to hook in here and then watch TV outside, this is where you'd hook it in. They even give us a little like um, door there so that we can hook that cable in and leave this box shut. Here's our docking station. So we have our uh, tank fill and our city fill so we can just turn that lever as needed. Our city water connection and our fresh water connection. We also have our pump so we can turn our water pump on here and a light. And then we have our little shower connection so we can just grab our hose from inside and that connects right there. And then we have our little handy dandy shower to clean up our feet or our pets or whatever we need to before we go into our coach. And we have our uh, tank flush here. And if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers and you need to winterize your coach, your instructions are right here. Before we head out on our trip, we've obviously got to fill up our gas tank. So right here is our gas fill. As I walk into the coach, there's a couple of things that I noticed right away. First, first of all, the beautiful craftsmanship in the wood. And then notice on the walls, we have the soft touch walls and headliner. It just finishes off the coach so nicely. Then notice this huge storage compartment we have right above here. So that's nice. That again is all soft touch lined as well with the big cargo net. We have this big storage cabinet here. Of course, our 7.4. Uh, or our seven feet, four inch tall ceilings and our fantastic fan here with the rain sensor. Then coming over here, we have our 32 inch smart TV by Samsung. And then as we go down to our Corian countertops, they do a great thing. They give us a little extra space for our meal prep. As we move into the kitchen, I wanted to point out the nice big pantry. So we've got adjustable shelves in here. It's nice and deep. So really good size pantry. And then we've got a pull out drawer here. You can see that's really nice and deep as well. We have our refrigerator, freezer, induction cooktop stove, and our microwave oven. Note that Regency uses Corian. Look how beautiful that countertop is. They give us a sink cover with a stainless steel sink. Really nice faucets. And again, the LED lighting here. We've also got our 110 outlet just below the countertop here. And Nice drawers, and I'm not sure that I pointed it out just yet, but note that these are soft closed drawers. So you don't have to slam your drawers, they close nicely. Just another example of the quality that Regency puts into this coach. More storage here, so I like that they've given us a little shelf here, again with the LED light. Then as we open up this panel, we'll see that there's a controller for our water heater, our inverter, this is our solar panel um, controller. So on the Traveler, you can get one 100 watt panel or two 100 watt panels. Those are optional. It comes solar prepped. And then we've got our cable and satellite inputs here. So underneath this cabinet, we've got our speakers, LED light, and that's push button as well. You can control it that way. And our 110 outlet, then this is our third control panel, multiplex lighting panel. So we can do our rear ceiling, accent, cabinet, porch, gen start and gen stop, and our master light on and off. I also wanted to note that on these panels where you see the up and down arrows, 
you can dim or brighten those lights just by holding that down. This is what it looks like when you've turned your captain's and co-captain's seat around and you can see right below the chairs is our fire extinguisher. I wanted to point out one of the significant differences that Regency does in the National Traveler. So I'm five foot six, maybe I'm fudging a little bit there, five six, and I've got three inch heels on and I can touch the ceiling, but it's seven feet, four inches high inside the coach. Now on the outside of the coach, it's only nine inches taller than the standard class B. So they've upfitted this and given us a lot more space. That gives us two storage compartments on each side. So basically they made this for basketball players. <laughs> so you can see you have a big cabinet here for storage. Another one right on top of it. These are all lit. So you're not gonna be moving around in the dark trying to find your stuff. LED lighting throughout the coach. So I wanna point out that we've got the nice blackout shades here in the back. They're not the accordion shades, so I like that. Then we've got our Furion DVD player, our multiplex lighting system. So this is, uh, we've got our awning light, our porch light, so we can do those from right in here when we're laying in bed. Our front ceiling, our accent light, our generator start and stop, master light on and off. We have our Samsung TV and you just pull this little string here and you can release that so you can bring it out and angle that to wherever you want to view the TV from. So pretty handy. I like that feature. And then we go back into our storage space here. We have a nice mirror here, hanging space. Again, this cabinet is lit. We have an HDMI switch in the back and a 110 outlet. And all the woodwork is done inside and out. So there's no unfinished wood in this coach. Every drawer, everything you opened is nice and finished. It just looks, looks like a million bucks. Here we have our 13,500 BTU AC unit with a heat strip. So that will keep you, um, if it gets a little bit cold, you can just use that heat strip. If you get a lot more cold, then you want to use your furnace. All right, so we're ready to go to bed. Let's go ahead and make up the beds. So these just jackknife out. Step back. Usually I just pull them up both just a little bit together and then there we go. Nice big bed. It's a little protector for this side. So we've got the longer bed here and a little bit shorter bed here, but easy to do. Here we have our CO2 detector and behind this panel are our breaker switches and our fuses for the coach. And we also have our converter switch here. So we have an inverter for this coach. The inverter converts DC to AC and the converter charges the batteries. I want to remind you that Regency was a custom upfitter of trucks, SUVs, and vans for years. So you can really see that in the quality of the coach. Again, look at how much room I have. It feels very roomy in here for a class B. I also love the way they finish everything off. So look at the back door. They've got the padded vinyl all around the back door. We've got the pull down blackout shades. They just do everything with such quality. It just feels like a luxury coach. I really love the elegance of the reeded glass door as you go into the bathroom. Now this is nice. It's actually bigger than most class B sh showers. I can get in here and I can stand all the way up and my head's not touching. Now someone taller might have to sit down, but it's nice and close shower. You've got the shower head that removes easily. They've given you a clothesline that goes from this end of the shower to the other end so you can hang your, you know, wet clothes, your towels, your workout clothes, whatever. Then you've got a little cover here that I really like for the toilet paper, so that's not gonna get wet when you're taking your shower, and you have a foot control on your toilet. You also have a shower curtain that's gonna come around, and again, just another barrier to protect the water from coming out into your coach. We also have this nice storage space above. Now, it's a little high for me, but great for my husband. <laughs> All right, here's the control center of your coach. So this is something that you typically won't find in a class B 
um, other than Reg Regency. So we've got our home screen here. So I can extend and retract the awning from right here. I can turn my porch light and off, on and off from right here. I can do my master on and off lights here. It's also gonna give me the readings for my fresh, gray, black, and LP tank. I can turn the water pump on right here. And something I did, forgot to mention, you have tank heaters on this coach. Another thing that doesn't isn't typically on a Class B. So you can turn those on right here. We also have, it's giving us our reading on our house battery, which is at 12.1 volts. We can start and stop our generator from here. And we've got the temperature. We can adjust that for the coach. Then we can go to the master like light switch. Anytime that you see the up and down arrows next to a light, it means that that light is dimmable. So you would just hold it until you get to the right level of dimness or brightness. So our front ceiling lights, our galley lights, cabinet lights, accent lights, reading lights, rear ceiling, shower, awning, and porch again. And again, the master switches as well. Temperature control, here you can set your cool heat pump furnace and you can put it to auto. And then you've got your settings. So you can actually um, network diagnostics here. This is the switch panel information, cleaning mode. That's gonna allow you to push that and then it's gonna let you clean the screen off without um, activating any of the buttons or switches. And then you can adjust the screen brightness, auto dimming and temperature. You can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So that's pretty cool that you've got that all right there in that one touch pad. Here in the cockpit, I wanna go over everything. First of all, the seats are really nice and comfortable. I really feel like they kind of hug your body. And then you've got controllers on the left side, obviously the passenger's right side, but that you can control the height and angle of your seat. And then if you pull the outside corner of the seat, you can see that my backrest just came up, so I can just push that back. <laughs> and then the inside corner, when I pull this, is what allows me to rotate this, the captain and the co-captain's chair so that I can be part of the living room. And then we've got a lumbar control dial here. Now over here to the side panel here, I've got my lock button and then my windows. And then I've got the mirror button so I can bring my mirrors in. So if you want to make it easier for people to get by your coach when you're parked in a parking lot or you're in a car wash or whatever, then you might want to do that. So that pulls them in. And then you've got the control so you can adjust your mirrors inside. Over here in the steering column, I've got a, mo or not just on the dash, I have a mode button and I can scroll through the menu. It will let me control the beep, um, when it, you know, the alarm basically, if I don't have my seatbelt on or something, it will let me control how um, loud that sound is. So that's kind of nice. And then it will give me, I can turn the beep off too. Then I can get to my travel information like uh, trip B and trip A. And I can scroll through. I can dim my dash lights, change all that. So I can make a lot of customized settings here at the dash. Then I've got my cruise control button. So I can use that if I want to do cruise, my light button and my turn signal. So right here on the steering column, I have the adjuster for my volume for my radio. That will also work for my telephone when I Bluetooth in off my phone. And I can adjust the, the stations on this side. I can also mute everything just really easy. So if I something's going on outside and I want it silent in the car, I can hit that mute button and it will turn it all off. I can also speak commands. So I can call all i have to do is press the call button and then if it's in my if i've hooked up my phone like i have today i've just put it into the usb port here plugged it in and if i've synced my phone i can just say you know call national indoor rv centers um, if i don't have my phone synced i can just tell it to dial 469-277-1330 and it will call national indoor rv centers and i can hang up from here as well got our ignition again I've got a USB and an aux input here my gear shift then we have our a AC control here so the fan speed AC and heat and then the different positions my fog lights ESC off my hazards 
and I can lock the coach from here. Okay, so let's go over this screen here. First of all, I can have this screen on or off. So I can just turn it off. And here I can also mute the volume too. So quickly, if I wanna get it quiet, I can do that easy enough. So there's my radio. Go through my stations here, AM, FM, uh, Sirius, XM, and then I can do media if I wanna hook up my phone. So right now, I have my phone hooked up and I can just go ahead and play right off my phone. So that's really nice to be able to play your own music. Then our nav system. So this has the TomTom Tom navigation system. So you can put that all in up here. And then we're to our phone. So I can redial the last number I just dialed. I can go to my phone book, recent calls, the touchpad there, my voicemails. Then you can go to more, so you have your clock, your compass, trip. So if I wanna go to trip information, I can go to current trip, trip A, trip B. So it's really handy. And then I can browse through my stations here. We've got our cup holders in the door for the driver. We've got three cup holders here. We have a cup holder here, the USB port, 12 volt. We have some nice storage space here and they've got, they've got that little rubber pad so the things won't move around while you're driving. And then another storage here. Oh, and one more thing, don't wanna forget. If you wanna clip a paper here, you've got directions you're gonna follow and you want it off paper, you can clip those right there. And then notice we've got storage all the way along the top, just to, just below the headliner. Okay, then we've got our lights, individual map lights, and then whether we want them on or off when we open the door, just on auto. All right, let's go take this baby for a test drive. Now this is gonna be just like driving my own car. It's a gas coach, so the tires are in front of me here. And you're gonna see that this is just super easy to drive and listen to how quiet it is. There's not a lot of rattling and noises um, from the back of the coach or anywhere inside the coach. It's just a testament to how good of quality they've made this coach. So if I wanna turn my navigation system on, just hit the nav right there, drive to, or I can just go home, or we can cancel that and just go to my map. So here we are on the highway. You can see that it's still super quiet. It's very easy to drive. The Dodge Ram ProMaster chassis gives us a really nice ride and drive. And this is just a great way to see the country. So don't delay, get out there and come visit us at National Indoor RV Centers and come take one of these for a test drive yourself. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough of the National Traveler DLX Trek Class B Motorhome by Regency. Now I encourage, I encourage you to go and watch my factory tour of Regency RV so you can see the quality and the craftsmanship that they pack into this coach. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sure you're wondering how much this coach would cost. So MSRP, which is Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price, is $119,905. If you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers 469-277-1330. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and watch more.